Hey everybody, um, this is problem two on the worksheet. We basically had to find the similar information, um, free body diagram, normal force, and uh, acceleration. And this time though we had to do it with a slightly different one. So really our picture this time is that we have a block um, and instead of it being 34 kilograms which is 34 times 9.8, 333.2 newtons, which would be our FG. Um, instead of it being pulled upwards and to the right, so like that, um, ours is being pushed downwards at 17 degrees. So there's an applied force like that, where that's theta equals 17 degrees, and it is 300 newtons, an FT of 300 newtons. Just like last time, we still have a normal force, and it says this time the friction was increased to a 34 newton force. So we have to break this apart, um, just like we did the previous into it's two components. Um, this would be FTX and FTY. So that's what we got to first find. Um, our FTX, going back to our equation, would be 300, the hypotenuse, times the cosine of the angle. The angle is 17 degrees. And our FTY is 300 times sine, 17 degrees. 300 times cosine, 17, is 286.89, 286.89 newtons, and our FTY is 300 times sine, 17, 87.7, 87.71 newtons. All right, so we broke that apart. We don't need this um, anymore. So try to get rid. The reason we break it apart is we can get rid of our force of tension force. We don't need that anymore. We've replaced it with our FTX and our FTY totally. So we don't care about the angle. We've replaced one force with two forces. You may think that makes it harder, but really we can now redraw our free body diagram, we're going to have two forces going down, FG, which is pointing down, of 333.2 newtons, and our FTY, which is in this case, unlike question one, where question one was having it go up, our FTY now is going down 87.71 newtons. Our normal force has to cancel those and go up. We'll get to that one in a second. Our FTX is X. Our FTX is 286.89, and our force of friction is 34. So to figure out our normal force, we're very close to figuring out our total free body diagram. Uh, we have to figure out our normal force. And our normal force comes from the fact that our block, especially when it's getting pushed down into the ground, our block's not going to be um, moving down. It's, the ground will push up however hard it needs to push up. So the total up forces we're going to balance, which means that the net force is going to equal, uh, sorry, the normal force is going to equal 333.2, that's the force due to gravity, plus the total amount of force that you're applying only vertically, 87.1. So 333.2 plus 87.71 gives us 421.07 newtons. And if you have a couple decimals off, that's no big deal. It's just rounding based on uh, the 300 side and 17. So our normal force is and it's acting upwards. Normal force always acts upwards, perpendicular to the surface. In this case, it's a flat surface, so it's perfectly straight up. So there's our normal force, and we figured that filled in that into our free body diagram. So that's parts A and B. And part C, we have to find 
the overall acceleration. Well, we know that the total up force equals zero, and the total up acceleration, vertical acceleration, is F net, sorry, F net y over m. Our F net y is zero. So zero over m is zero. We have no vertical acceleration, but we do have side to side acceleration. That's F net x over m. And our net force horizontal, well, you have to take the total right force, that's 286.89, subtract the total left force, that's 34, all divided by the mass, the mass is right up here, oops, uh, sorry, the mass is right here, um, didn't mean to cross it out, 34 kilograms, just so happens that the 34 and 34 are the same. So we do 286, 0.89 minus 34, 252.89 over 34. So our horizontal acceleration, which is the only acceleration we're going to have, 252.89 over 34, we're going to get a horizontal acceleration of 7.44, if you round, and depending on what you did, you might get a few uh, decimal places off, no big deal. 7.44 meters per second squared, and as drawn, it would be going to the right. You should always just reference the way you drew it. If you drew it the other way, where it was going to the left, you put 7.44 meters per second squared to the left. It all depends on your question um, and your drawing. If you draw the free body diagram so that it's going to the left, you would write left. If you draw it to the right, you write right. Uh, hopefully that helps. That is successfully solved problem two. Cool.